Reduce, reuse, recycle. Mario Kart! Hey! Reduce, reuse, recycle. Reduce, reuse, re, 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 recycle. Reduce, reuse, re, 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 What's good, YouTube? It's your host, Axel Rose, aka MVP, and you are now watching MVP Magazine. Now, I would quickly just love to give a shout out to all my new subscribers. I really appreciate that stuff. Really appreciate all the likes, the comments, and all that positivity you've been bringing to the channel. That's why I'm making more videos and stuff. So, yeah, keep all that stuff coming. Really appreciate that. But let's talk about all these Wii U ports coming to the Switch, baby. Okay, now since the Nintendo Switch has been released, we've already seen more than a couple Wii U ports grace the machine. Zelda Breath of the Wild, Lego City Undercover, we've got Far... Uh, um, yeah. Kind of meant to say Fast Racing RMX instead. Had a brain slip. Can't be bothered to edit that out. Keeping it in. Now, to tell the truth, having so many ports near the launch of a console's lifespan isn't necessarily a new or a bad thing. And especially when they contain the back catalogue of games that the Wii U had, it's actually something to kind of look forward to. Games like Bayonetta 2 and Wonderful 101 would be amazing on the go. And if they're thinking of actually making a Bayonetta collection for the Wii U, I mean, sorry, for the Nintendo Switch, what the hell is going on with me today? See, here's the thing. Because of the whole concept of the Switch, you know, having big AAA games which you can take on a go. Because Nintendo realised that concept so well, old games actually have a new lease of life. Like, I can't wait to see games that are already owned like Dragon Ball Xenoverse and Tekken 7 come to Nintendo Switch. That extra added portability, and I really hate saying all this stuff because I sound like a straight up Nintendo salesman, but portability it actually makes these games feel new. I'm not sure how it does it or why it does it, but it's actually a factor. So bring it on. I'm kind of happy to see all of these games, especially since they can actually set up new franchises. Wonderful one on... Blah! The Wonderful 101 was an awesome game and it's a shame that that franchise didn't get the chance to reach a bigger audience and hopefully with some kind of re-release coming to the Switch it will finally get its chance. And knowing that it's Nintendo behind most of these re-releases hopefully we should get some console specific features and extra add-ons to these games and hopefully they're not just recycles. <laughs> We do see games like Mario Kart 8 and Dragon Ball Xenoverse doing extra things to make them feel brand new on the Nintendo Switch and not like just generic remasters or recycles. And even though these games may have been experienced by some people who've had a Wii U, hopefully the new Switch specific consoles features should make the game feel brand new and not like a generic remaster. Oh, so that's the thing now, yeah? So every time I say remaster... Or recycle... Yeah, that's it, people. I'm done. I'm done for today. Yeah, that, yo. I don't know who's doing the editing today, but it's just... Yeah. So, yeah. Um, we... <clears throat> Re-releases on the Wii U. Oh, God darn it! Wii U ports on the Switch is a good thing. There! Woo! I said it. If developers are going to continue taking their sweet time to get ready and get to that Nintendo Switch ball, why not pour a collection of the Wii U's best titles over to the Switch to give gamers something to do until they are ready? We've already seen way too many games get rushed out to release this generation. Drive Club, Halo Master Chief Collection, Street Fighter V, sometimes taking that extra bit of time is great. And hey, 
why not get some Wii U ports in the meantime? Yeah. So yeah, people, let me know what you think about the Wii U greatness coming over to the Switch. Me, I am personally a fan. Shout outs to everybody that was in the stream trolling it up yesterday or this morning, whatever your country says. But yeah, it was amazing. Thank you to everyone that's come through to the channel and just sub. You guys are bringing a really positive vibe. Really appreciate that. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Peace.